What's up everyone, welcome back to PTS Reptile Tech. As you can tell, we're back at Vintage Gamer in Halzowin. Just thought I would do a tour of the shop and I will be shortly having a chat with the owner Nick and we'll have like a look around the shop and see what uh, reptile stuff he's got and that. And let's actually get into it. I will put everything in the description below as well. So if you want to check uh, the shop out, for any cool items or anything you can and as you can tell there's quite a lot in the footage that I've got he's got uh, Mega Drive games as you can tell and there's just like loads of games around absolutely loads so I will include the footage now and you guys can check it all out As you can tell, he's got quite a lot of boxed retro consoles from Sega, as you guys saw from the footage, PlayStation 1 and 2 and Nintendo Wii games, as you can tell, all in piles, looking really lovely as well. And if you're interested in your PlayStation 2 stuff, then I would recommend to get down because he has got a variety of stuff. More Mega Drive uh, games, as you can tell, absolutely loads. And making my way around you can see quite a lot of DS and Wii games as well so that's always good as well moving into the next room you got Xbox original games some more Xbox stuff as you can tell PlayStation stuff he's got a lot of Nintendo stuff as well and PlayStation more as you can tell and then just a load of stuff as you can tell along there just on the top if you are interested in your Game Boy games or Game Boy original he does do stuff like that as well as you can tell we've got a lovely Nintendo NES from 1985 it has got Super Mario Bros and the condition of the box looks really clean for what it is some Nintendo uh, accessories there as well GameCube games as you can tell a load of them look really amazing shortly Nick will be on the video now and we'll have a chat with him and uh, let's get into it oh guys this is the owner you want to introduce yourself uh, I'm Nick I'm from Vintage Gamer um, Hellzone B63 um, we sell all retro consoles, games, accessories, arcade machines, and whatever else we get our hands on. Alright guys, so today we're going to ask Nick a few questions. So, my first question is, um, how long have you like worked here for? I've had this shop for five years. Uh, I had a shop previous for just over a year. I was on the internet before that for about two years. Uh, so, we've been going now about eight years. Okay. Um... But this shop, this shop's what's really took off. Yeah. Um. So it's it's been it's been awesome to be honest. Okay. What do you enjoy doing like about your job? Um. Everything. No day is different. Okay. Um. You never know what's gonna come in. Uh, it's the excitement of of people saying right, I've got a job lot for sale, or I'm selling my collection, or things like that. And you just don't even know what's included so that I think for me that's the most exciting bit and meeting meeting all the people that come in all the customers which yeah. now most of them uh, aren't customers they're friends yeah so it's okay. good um, what's your best selling like console um, SNES is popular at the moment and okay. um, the last 12 months retro I think has slowed down slightly but okay. it's like a cycle it's like a circle it'll come back round again yeah um so ps4s xbox ones at the moment are selling well yeah um but it's it's games wise i would probably say sega mega drive master system things like that because i believe they're a good investment and okay. in three or four years time you could probably double your money okay if you had to pick like a favourite retro um, gadget, what would you like pick? Um, as in a console or an arcade machine? Just or... like anything retro. 
Right, for me, it's Mega Drive. Okay. For me, it smashes it. I mean, Commodore... Commodore's up there, yep. not for the playability, but because it was my first ever computer. So, okay. literally waiting half an hour for the tapes to load and yeah. then half the time they're crashing. That was the fun of it back in the day. Yeah. Um, my mum brought me a cartridge back the one day as well and I put it in, turned it on, it come on and it just absolutely blew my mind because it was just instantly loaded, no waiting. And that that was a nice memory for me. But now, now Mega Drive being my second main console that yeah. I had, um, I purely try and collect just Mega Drive stuff now. Okay. Um, so my last question is, um, if you could like pick any retro, um, like, I mean like a phone or like a console, what would you pick and why would you like pick it? Um, for me, I would probably pick, if I could only pick one item, it would probably be uh, an arcade machine. Okay. Um, full of retro retro games and consoles i get bored very easy yeah i don't want one game i don't want one console to play on i want everything i want to play one game one minute and change after 10 or 15 minutes that's yeah. just the way that's I'll the whole work. point of it as well it yeah. is yeah it is so i'm getting a machine next week i sold it uh to a customer only a couple of months ago and since i sold it i regretted it and I should be getting that machine back next week and I really, really can't wait. It's literally got about 30, 40,000 games on it. Everything from main games to arcade games to SNK and Capcom games and Mega Drive and SNES and it's amazing. So that'll be back in the shop and okay. it will be on free play for everyone to play. Yeah. Uh, along with all the other arcade machines in the shop, they're all on free play. Okay. Um, I just feel it, it gives people an opportunity or children an opportunity to get off the streets and do something that they're enjoying without causing trouble. Okay. So for me, um, I, I won't ever charge for arcade machines. Okay. All right, guys, so I think we're at the end of the video. Thanks for your time, Nick. I will put everything in the descri description for Vintage Gamers. And I will put their channel on Facebook. Oh, right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour and the interview at Vintage Gaming. How's I mean? I will put everything in the description below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. And uh, don't forget to drop me a follow on Twitter as well. If you want to keep updated with the retro stuff, I will put it on the screen now. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.